Okay, this little lesson is going to focus on our basic integer concepts. And it's the ideas uh, that teachers need to explain to students when we first start integers. Okay? Now, first of all, let's think about what integers are. Integers are the positive and the negative numbers on each side of zero. That's what integers are. And you know, whenever teachers talk about integers, they're mostly talking about, okay, now let's think about negative numbers. All right? Now, throughout this uh, lesson and future lessons on integers, when you see a 5, that's going to mean a positive 5. And a positive 5 is equal to a regular 5. So please don't get mixed up by those. Okay? Now, many of us, we learned about how to compare numbers that were positive. And that may have been in, you know, second, third, fourth grade. But some of you in fifth grade, you started to compare positive numbers with negative numbers. Like here's a positive 2, here's a negative 2. Uh, 2, its opposite number is negative 2. Here's 3, its opposite number is negative 3. Okay? Sometimes when we compare numbers, we would say that 1 is bigger than negative 4. Remember, numbers get bigger as they go to the right, and they get smaller as they go to the left. So a negative 4, even though that 4 is bigger than the 1 by itself, because it's a negative 4, it's way on this side of 0. So it's much smaller than the 1. Then sometimes in this unit, you'll be asked to compare big negative numbers. And the way I always think about this is, which is colder, 10 degrees below 0 or 30 degrees below zero. 30 degrees is colder, and the colder it gets, the smaller the number is. The hotter it gets, the higher the number it is. So, negative 15 degrees, you'd rather want to camp out in that if you absolutely had to in Wisconsin in the winter than a negative 35 degrees. Sometimes in our unit, we're going to use parentheses around a second negative number. Now, let's see how, how this looks. Uh, usually on test and in our books, when they have 5 plus a negative 5, the way they will write it in the book is to have parentheses around that second negative number or 7 times a negative 3, what they do is they go 7 times parentheses negative 3. Now they do this so you don't get those two symbols mixed up or these two. Those parentheses better help you see what the real problem is. Okay. Also, Here's a key concept. Uh, subtracting a, a positive number equals adding a negative number. Now, every single year, I just have lots of students who don't understand that you get the same answer with 5 minus 2. Now, this is minus a positive number. And you get the same result 3 here as you do here. So whether it's 5 minus a positive 2 or 5 plus a negative 2, those are actually, you, you, you do those the same way and you still get 3 each time. Same thing right down, down here. 6 minus 
3 is the same as 6 plus a negative 3. And if you can't understand it, at some point you're just going to have to memorize it. Also in this unit, we'll need to compare integers using these inequality signs. Just like right here. Okay. So let's look at at the top one, and we have negative seven, and let's compare that to a positive five. Well, anytime you have a positive compared to a negative, the positive is always bigger, and we know that the arrow shoots the lower number. Ooh, two negatives. Now to find the smallest number, we might say which is colder, negative 15 degrees below zero or negative 3 degrees? Well, the negative 15 is colder, so it is smaller. Okay. Well, we have two positive numbers, so 56 is bigger than 48. Okay, this is positive, so it has to be bigger than that negative. Arrow shoots the smaller number. Okay, two negative numbers. Which is colder? I'd rather be in a, po a negative 15 degrees than I would here. This is real chilly, so this is smaller. Okay. Ooh, we got a plus, we got a little uh, half sign here, a little fraction. So the negative four, that's colder than the negative three. So this is smaller, all right? Sometimes too, we'll be asked about absolute values and all that means an ab absolute value is how far away a number is from zero. And we usually use this sign. Okay, now from 0 to 40, that's a positive 40, and when we say 40 is how far from 0? It is 40 away from 0. So the absolute value of 40, or the absolute value of a positive 40, is 40. Now. The key point is, how far is it for a negative number from zero? And when we take a negative number to zero, the absolute value of that negative number, you simply take off the negative sign. From negative 30 to zero is 30. Okay? And the last concept is, putting in order a set of numbers, okay? So let, let's look at these numbers here, all right? Now, sometimes what I like to do, I circle all the negatives. And I know that the bigger the number of a negative, like eight, the colder or smaller it's going to be. So the smallest or least number here is negative eight negative seven, negative three. And then we have two positive numbers, 12 and 16. So that's how we would put them in order, from least to greatest. Then lastly, let's say we have some really big negative numbers, like the coldest days up in the North Pole uh, during September, okay? No, it's a little warm there. Uh, during, uh, let's say, no November, all right? So we have negative 42, negative 56, negative 38, and negative 45. Well, which one of those is the coldest? Brr. Imagine going to the North Pole and having to live in negative 56 weather. Okay, negative 45 will be next least. So this, this is our least or our smallest number. And then we got a negative 42, and we end off with a negative 38, okay? 
Okay, those are the key concepts that we have to start off our integers unit. And stop.